Cam, working against that, that defensive line every day in practice, uh, you know, from, from your perspective, just how good is that front four? Um, they, they're, they're, inc- they're incredible. We have something I tell everybody is we, I feel like we have the best defense in the country. And maybe, I mean, maybe I'm a little biased, but I feel like kind of the numbers speak for themselves also. And, uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's a great practice for me going up against those guys. And uh, those, those guys, they're pretty good. You don't obviously have to play against them in games, but uh, you know, as an offensive lineman, particularly once you start getting into that fourth quarter, uh, if you're playing against a team that can keep bringing in fresh bodies every couple plays, just how tough is that to handle? I mean, yeah, that's, that's extremely tough to handle. You know, as an offensive line, we, we the, the same five line of play every play. So if, if a team does have great depth and they're able to you know rotate, you know, multiple bodies and get the same the same type of production on all of those bodies, you know, I mean, it's, it's tough to play against. How you gonna remember the senior <laughs> class that's moving on? Um, but I got a lot, lot of great memories, but I mean, as far as on the field wise, I'm, I'm a very, or in the locker room wise, they were great leaders, um, great guys on and off the field. Um, I, I just, the, I like the way, like, like, how, like how co- cohesive we are as a unit. Those guys, you know, are, are exceptional leaders, and um, I think that's something they pride themselves in. Uh, there, there was a lot made about uh, Derrick Henry's breakaway speed after the last game. When you guys are blocking for him, do you, do you guys know that if you give him, you know, for, for lack of a better phrase, if you give him an inch, he's going to take a mile when it comes to, to getting, a, getting a scene for him? All right, definitely. Um, I think, well, some, some of that I get asked a lot is, am I surprised when he runs with the DBs? I just know I'm not, because I see it every day in practice. You know, I know the type of speed he has, especially to be his size. Yeah, I know he's, he's, he's an extremely fast guy, so we as an offensive line know that if we give him, if we give him any type of space he's able to get to the second level, there's a good chance that he's gone. I know how close you guys are as teammates and everybody in that locker room. We hear guys talk about it every week. So going off of that, when you see a guy like Kenyon Drake have another injury like he had, how, how, how tough is that to see, especially knowing what he did to try to come back from the last series? Oh, uh, that's extremely tough to you know, see Drake go down with an injury. Because um, I mean, it's just that's one of our brothers is there and have anything to do with football. You, you don't want to see you don't want to see one of your brothers go down with an injury. But um, especially you knowing what he's already been through, it's, it's extremely tough. But me knowing the type of guy he is, I know he'll he'll work hard and he'll come back from his injury. Same when he comes back from the last one. There aren't a lot of teams where you see a guy like Kenyon playing on special teams. Is that just a, a testament to how dedicated the guys on this team are that they're they're willing to play wherever to get on the field? Right. I mean, I, I think that. You know, some, I think it just comes down to you know, the, knowing the black guys have egos, you know, they, they don't mind, they don't mind playing special teams or, or whatever their role is on the team. They're just trying to, you know, perfect, perfect their role and, uh, you know, do that to the best of their ability. Last one, guys. How important is it to get these younger backs some, um, you know, some good holes to, to get some experience the last few games? It's, uh, to work them into rotation. No, I think it's pretty important. You know, we want to, we want to let those guys, you know, get out there and um, you know run around, run around a little bit also, so that, so that they're able to get used to how Saturdays are, and that they're able to get used to, you know, um, the way the way the games are played on Saturdays. Thanks, Cameron.